Hi, it's Cookie here, and in this mini tutorial I'm going to show you how to use uh, emitter particles, how to trace emitter particles to create interesting structures. Here's a clip of uh, the final thing of what we're going to be doing. Which I think you'll agree looks uh, pretty amazing, but it's actually, like so many of these things, actually quite simple. So first of all we'll need an emitter. Stick that in there and we'll move it back a bit. And then back to MoGraph to get the tracer, the emitter highlighted, so you'll see that um, the emitter is in the uh, tracers trace link box. And then so that we can make our, in fact, let's run that now. And you can see the black line behind the uh, emitter particles is the splines that have been drawn. In fact, think about it, there's a bit too many there, so we'll change the birth rate down to uh, 5, because we don't want this to look too cluttered. Now, so that we can uh, make an actual object, we'll make a sweet nerve. So we'll put a circle in there, and I'll reduce that to 50. And hold down Alt, and uh, grab the sweet nerve. There you go. And it's the tracer itself which will give us the um, splines as you can see there already if I run that you can see them working I'm going to stick a bit of colour on there so you can see what's happening that looks good and the final piece of the puzzle as you can see that's actually doing the job quite nicely but it's a bit boring just having straight rods coming out although even that's quite clever so one way of uh, making something a bit more interesting out of it is to put a twist deformer on there. So Alt and Release will uh, stick that to there. In fact, that's not necessary, is it? Because they just want to be in the same hierarchy. So forget that. So if we spin that to uh, the angle of the twist to 360, change the P rotation to 90. Move it along a bit, and I'm also going to stretch it out a bit. Oh, I won't stretch it out very far. Let's try another knot on there. Looks better. It's not really matter too much where that is because we'll stick it on unlimited. Right, grab the lot and uh, Alt G to put them into a null so they're all in the same hierarchy and now when the emitter particles come out they'll be twisted a bit slow to render on the uh, notebook but there you go good luck and see you later